In addition, a strike team consisting of members from a lo of a local fire crews are also on their way up north. And KCR 3's Tom Miller met one firefighter who just returned after spending several days battling that rocky fire. And as he shows us, that firefighter is already back on the job. Not even three hours after arriving home from the front lines of the Rocky Fire, Metro Fire Battalion Chief Randy Hine is at it again. Can you do me a favor and coordinate with the homeowners here to get some things in and out? There. This time, working to put out a kitchen fire at a Rancho Cordova apartment, helping save a puppy along the way. The turnaround moving from a wildland setting to a structure fire setting uh, was a very quick turnaround. During the past seven days, Hine has worked to contain the nearly 70,000 acre Rocky Fire with a Metro strike team. Aside from the less than ideal sleep conditions, working in new territory proved to be the biggest challenge. Working in areas that you're unfamiliar with and getting up to speed on uh, street, streets and your access to different areas. At the fire station, oh. Hine unloads the huge haul of gear he took with him, clothes, bedding, and food he brought back. They usually have fruits and the vegetables, get the high protein. Now that he's back at the fire station, Chief Hine says the best part will be sleeping on a real bed. It definitely is. Uh, back to a regular mattress uh, instead of a three or four inch foam pad. Metro Fire gave Hine the option to return home immediately, but since so many other Metro firefighters are helping battle blazes across the state, he opted to stay and help out the community he serves almost every day. Okay. Right now I'm, I'm feeling okay, uh, but uh, you know I've got another, uh, another 12 hours to go for my shift before I get to go home and see my family. In these mutual aid wildfire situations, firefighters typically deploy for one to two weeks, three weeks max. And while Hine and his team are just getting back, 45 Metro firefighters remain out of their jurisdiction on the front lines of California wildfires. And Tom, they're certainly staying busy, and we're seeming to hear um, a lot more of these local deployments. Is this becoming the new normal now? Well, it's certainly trending that way. Just this week, Governor Brown called California hotter and drier than ever this fire season, and he says it lasts year round. I spoke with a lot of fire departments today, including Sacramento City, Metro, Roseville, Stockton, and every one of them has at least one crew out of town. In the case of the bigger departments, they have several crews. Yeah. They know it's part of the job, but it doesn't make it any easier, right? No. All right, thanks, Tom.